trigonometric identity cos x over sin x plus 1 plus cos x over sin x minus 1 equals to minus 2 tan x. Okay. So let's start with left side and see what do we get. So left side is cos x over sin x plus 1 plus cos x over sin x minus 1. Okay. So we can take common denominator here. Common denominator is sin x plus 1 times sin x minus 1, right? So then this gets multiplied with sin minus x. We have cos x times sin minus x, sin x minus 1 plus cos x times sin x plus 1, right? So that's what we get in the numerator. So in the denominator, it is a plus b times a minus b. So we get sine square x minus 1. And here what we can do is we can take cos x common. So, so let me write cos x here. And then we get, we can factor out cos x. And then we get sine x minus 1 from here plus sine x plus 1 from there. Okay, now what is sine square x minus 1? Now sine square x minus 1 is minus of cos square x. Let's try to understand that part. You know, uh, sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. Is it okay? So if I bring 1 to this side, then what happens? It becomes sine square x minus 1 is equals to cos x to that side minus cos square x. So when you rearrange your formula, so you get sine square x minus 1 as minus of cos square x. So this is what we are going to use here, right? In the denominator will become minus of cos square x, right? Here we have cos x in the numerator and sine x plus sine x is 2 sine x. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So we get this, right? Now, this could be written as, now cos x and cos x will cancel. You have got the negative sign. So we get here negative 2 sin x over cos x. Is that okay? Which is equals to negative 2 tan x, which is our right side. Okay. Let me push this page a bit forward so that you can see what we have here. And that's how we prove our identity given to us. Okay? That's how it is. Thank you.